Hey guys, in this month's episode of The City, we have Stephanie Justman, our city clerk. Stephanie, tell us what's going on today. Today, Jabe, we have the special election for the Assembly District 58 to fill Bob Gannon's seat. So an election, tell our viewers what goes into an election process, the training of workers and all those kind of fun things. Um, the election process does start with the appointing of the election workers. This last December, our Common Council did appoint our election workers for, for the eight voting districts. Then we test our election equipment. All of the eight districts have their own voting machine. Each machine is tested. Uh, we do a test ballot of the machine. For each machine, we run the ballots through. We also try to trick the machine to make sure that it's formatted correctly for each election and each district. For instance, putting one district in the other district's machine to make sure it's not counting that ballot. Stephanie, tell us about the training of our workers, maybe the difference between a chief inspector and a regular poll worker. Who does that training? We have around 100 election workers just to staff all eight voting locations. Once they are reappointed, they need to have some type of training before they can work at any election. So with this election being already on the 16th of January, I had to make sure they had this training before this election day. And it's a two hour training that I offer to our poll workers. The poll workers come and they go through, I explain the basics from everything from re registering to vote, where you have to bring a proof of residency, to voting on election day, and that your proof of ID is need needed every time you vote. And it continues on into election issues that might happen on election day from electioneering to challenging voters. It's pretty intensive, so I, I do try to keep it basic for our new election workers and for election workers that were trained before. How about the eight districts? We have eight districts in the city of West Bend, and it, obviously it's very important that people vote in their proper district. Um, currently, we have approximately 24,000 people in the city of West Bend that are of voting age. For District 1 is Meadowbrook Manor. Um, some other examples are the library uh, here at City Hall, and we do have uh, voting districts at the county courthouse, and then across the street is the PAC. And District 7 is at the Marine Park Technical College. One important feature is that your aldermen are represented by district. Your aldermen also, when they circulate denomination papers, need to get their signatures within their district. They are representing that district. So it's important for our viewers to know that the election process here in West Bend is fair and accurate. Can you assure them that that's going on? There are procedures in place to make sure your elections are run fair and accurate. There are also um, features set in place with the voter registration system that when you're re-registering to vote in another mis municipality that your voter registration is following you. If you go to a town, the voter registration, if you are registered here in the city, is automatically moved to that new voter registration. So we're not having more than one registration out there, and that ensures accuracy for the voter when they go to the polls. Thanks for providing that assurance to our voters, Stephanie, and thank you for joining us this month. Um, please join us again next month as we explore the community TV with Mike Ryan. Mm -hmm.